Mark, it's Tailgate Thursday with our favorite sports anchor, Ryan King. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm fantastic. These days are always the best because I get to come on Trends and Friends, get to join you. Usually Heidi. Mark's not bad, but you know, like, I can see <laughs> wow. him any time. With, with, you know, with Heidi being gone, you know, it's always nice to see you come on here. But at least I get to join you. We get to make our picks. It means football is also almost here. I know. It's exciting. So th there's going to be some games tonight, though, correct? And then some on Friday. Yeah, there'll be one tonight that will actually have White Face is hosting Southland. We'll have that, those highlights at 10. But we're picking these games. There's a lot of them like always. We're going to get started. Seagraves and Rawls. Here's the bad news. Both teams are 0-2 heading into this one. Good news is one of these teams has to get their first win of the season. So that's actually really good for them. Rawls is at home. They haven't had a whole lot of offense this year, scoring 0 in the first week, 12 in the second week. But they're not giving up a whole lot of points. Should be a really tight one between two local teams there. Okay, Turkey Valley coming to town, taking on Meta. Meta is 0-2. Valley, a high-scoring offense. Meta's defense is going to have to show up in this one. Six-man is high-scoring, but they are not a super high-scoring team themselves. Brownfield, 0-2, traveling at Idaloo, who is 2-0. Idaloo has looked legit. They beat Clyde last week, 40-13. Denver City in week one, 41-7. You can do the average yourself there of what they're scoring per week. Brownfield, they lost 10-7 to Tulia. They're going to have to put up more points if they want to compete with a tough Idaloo team. Pose the defending 2A state runner-ups. They're hosting Littlefield. They are 2-0. Littlefield 1-1. Littlefield last week lost at Denver City. It's not a bad loss, but Post has scored 70 in Week 1, 39 in Week 2. That's over 100 points in those two games, so that's obviously a tough team to play for anybody. Finally, really good game, Sundown at Abernathy. Sundown is the smaller school, but they're 2-0. They only won 6-0 over Muleshoe in Week 1, but they beat Sudan 59-15 last week. Abernathy... They are 1-1 one one when they beat Slayton last week, 21-13. So Abernathy really needs this to get on a win streak. But if Sundown can win it, they'd be 3-0 and against some good opponents beating Sudan and Abernathy to start off the season. We'll go ahead and look at our picks here, though. Rawls do have them getting that win, their first win of the year, at home against Seagraves. Like I said, could see that one going either way, but I am picking the Jackrabbits. Next, we have Turkey at Meta, Turkey Valley, however you want to call them there. Picking them over Meta. Meta, I just don't think has shown enough on offense just yet. Idalu, I, I think they will win this one. Brownfield is not a bad team, but Idalu is legit. They're going to beat a lot of teams here. They're going to compete deep into the playoffs. Next, Post, they're going to win. Uh, I'll be too surprised if they win, honestly, really any regular season game. So they're going to beat Littlefield, at least in my opinion. Finally, get something a little bit different there. I am picking Sundown. People who watch the show know that uh, I've always been partial to Abernathy. I do love the Antelopes. Great mascot. I am picking Sundown, though. They are the smaller school, but they have been red hot here to start the year. I'm picking them to, if you want to look at it this way, get the upset at Abernathy. Really could see either team winning there, but I am picking Sundown. It seems like, this is crazy. Does this happen all the time? I know no, I'm kind of newish, but this is like almost to achieve the same. This does not ever happen. I almost picked Abernathy. Last <laughs> second I went to Sundown, we would have had the exact same. This does not happen. Usually, I mean, you saw yours last week. Yeah. You were different than Heidi and I all over yeah, the place. Yeah, and y'all pulled ahead, but the... What, who ended up, I don't remember, did, who ended up winning? Uh, Heidi somebody? and I had the same pick, so, oh, okay. so we will, but she's still ahead of me overall because she beat me by one in week is one. That, is that tough for you to hear? It's not good. <laughs> we're, we're two weeks in, and now I don't love that um, this is a really tough game. I'm going yeah. with the underdog with Sundown, so if they do lose, what are you I'm gonna now do? two she games ahead. I know, I'm two games <laughs> down, which is not make me – Here's the thing, though. With the way the season is structured, with the bigger schools starting later, we are, we're actually going to have four extra weeks. So usually we have we pick these games for 14, 15 weeks. This year will probably be 18 or 19. So we still have time. But uh, I try to be impartial, being a journalist. But for this game alone, uh, it would really help me out a lot of sundown where to win that one. So Roughnecks, please do me a solid out there. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, so I'm just excited to have football back, and it's going to be a good time for everybody. And I'm so excited mainly for these kids to be able to play. They get to play. Texas Tech is back this week. And this is what we've been waiting for. This yes. is the week, September 12th, the 10th, 11th, 12th. It's going to be a great week. It's going to have everything all in one. Yes, it's and tomorrow nice. you will be on the show to talk about that Tech game. And I know we're all excited. I'm excited. i got to back, back days. Yes. That's unbelievable. I'm very happy to be here for Well, that. thanks so much for being here, Ryan. Thank